Is something big happening with the Baltimore Ravens? Because I was getting ready to come on here and update y'all about the game situation with the Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The fact that that game got moved because of the crazy, crazy, crazy weather conditions up in Buffalo. They said it was unsafe to play uh, on Sunday, so they moved the game to Monday at 4.30 p.m. So... Sucks for people that were going to go to the game, but better safe than sorry. And I mean, this, the weather still might be a little crazy that day, but it should calm down a little bit. But then uh, my guy, Alex, Alex Baldwin, hit me up on Instagram. He said, hey, look at Patrick Queen's story. He said, uh, it looks like Beaks just signed. And I'm what? like, what? What you talking about, man? But listen to this. How I feel? How I feel? Hey, 20, $25 million dollar man. Hey, 25 mil. He need 25 mil. So I saw that, and at first I was watching, it and Patrick Queen was like, oh, all pro, Matt Abiga, how you feeling? I was like, oh, okay, you just talking about him being an all pro player. I'm like, that ain't nothing, but then he said 25 mil. I said, hold up now, hold up now, because, hey, don't get us excited that the Baltimore Ravens re-signed Justin Matabike. Now, it would not be a shocker, but it would be some excellent timing, them being able to handle that during the bye week, and if they did get that all taken care of and be done with it. But, hey, I, I guess only time will tell. Uh, now, they did try to sign Justin Matabike earlier this offseason. They tried to get it done, but they obviously weren't able to get it done. And the Baltimore Ravens, they were smart. They were smart when they tried to get it done because they obviously saw something in Justin Matabike and they just knew. They knew that this was going to be the emergence of Justin Matabike and they knew that his price was going to go way up. I don't know if they knew it was going to go all pro price and 13 sacks price, but his price is definitely significantly more than it was when they tried to sign him this previous offseason. So if this does end up being the case, this will be a beautiful thing for a couple of reasons. One, you'll get to re-sign and keep one of your best players. Uh, two, you will be able to, if you choose to, for some reason, you'll be able to use the franchise tag on somebody else if it does even come to that. Who could they use the franchise tag on? Well, who's a significant free agent that they got coming up? I know Patrick Queen, he will come to a lot of people's mind, but would they use the franchise tag on Patrick Queen? I don't see it. I, I, I wouldn't see it. Now, if they did re-sign Matabike, that would free up the, the, the franchise tag, obviously, but would they be willing to use it on an inside linebacker? I just, I don't know. Only time will tell. But they would have the option, too, if they chose to. Uh, some other pending free agents that they got coming up. Uh, Geno Stone, he's a pending free agent, but I don't see them using the franchise tag on him. Uh, and I know they got plenty of other guys, too. You got Jadavian Clowney, you got Kyle Vannoy, but I, I, I don't see them bringing those guys back. Maybe a Jadavian Clowney, um, but everything just depends on how the rest of this season shakes out, and I'm expecting it to shake out in a really, really nice way. Now, um, in other news, besides uh, potentially Justin Matter BK getting his bread, hey, maybe by the time you see this video, uh, he might, it may be an official now. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, well, Mike McDonald, uh, Mike McDonald, um, he was named as a potential uh, interview for the Seattle Seahawks. So, man, Mike McDonald, it, it just really seemed like a foregone conclusion that he's going to be out of here. Um, it, it just does not seem like he's going to be a Baltimore Raven um, next year. I, I, I just I, I don't see it at all. But there's, there's only one thing, only one way I see him still remaining with the Baltimore Ravens. It, this just, that, and this is the only way I see him staying with the team. And that is if, or I really should say when, the Baltimore Ravens win the Super Bowl, and then John Harbaugh like, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm calling it quits, guys. And then after that, they would promote <coughs> Mike McDonald to head coach. That is the only way right now that I see him staying with the Baltimore Ravens. And then that's, of course, that's not a guaranteed thing. Um, now, Baltimore Ravens winning the Super Bowl, yeah, I expect that to happen. But what if John Harbaugh's like, no, I want to keep this thing going. I want to keep coaching. I, 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 I want to keep it going. I want to keep moving. I want to see if I can win another one. He could do that. Or he may be like, you know what? I'm going out on top. I'm done. I got two of them things. And oh, that would be great, too. Uh, I'm going in the Hall of Fame. That would be great, too. It'd be like me and, me and Lamar Jackson, we're both going to be in the Hall of Fame eventually. Oh, that would be amazing. But um, so I, I, I could see that definitely happening for sure. But again, only time will tell. Uh, but in something that's could be and maybe a lot more closer uh it would be if Matabike did in fact get his bread so we'll see man 
We'll see. We'll see. It could be Patrick Queen just trolling, but I don't know, man. Well, he, him saying the, the, the 25 mil, that that's a very specific type of troll, but we'll find out when we find out, and we'll know when we know. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I know it feels like we haven't seen the Baltimore Ravens play in forever because we really haven't. We really haven't seen them play since the Dolphins game, if we're being real. So that's been a long time, but... Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who have patience. And if the Baltimore Ravens teach you anything about anything, they will definitely teach you how to have patience. Because there's been some things that we've been wanting for years. There's been some things we've been calling for to happen for years. And this has been the year where they finally, <coughs> finally answered so much of those requests that we've been wanting and asking them to do. And it's like, Ravens, if you do this, You'll have the success. Ravens, if you do that, this will be better. Ravens, if you invest in that, oh, it could just make so much stuff happen for you. And it all lined up. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. This got to be the year, man. This has got to be the year. It's got to be. Ravens got to get this thing done. But I expect them to. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.